All right, good morning, everybody. So for lesson C, we are gonna be delving into matrices. And on this page, we're gonna get into the key features of matrices. We're gonna start some of the early operations with matrices, and then we'll be tying it into the first part of our chapter where we can say how we can use matrices for solving systems of equations. So in this first section, we're just gonna see that I can take information, and we can organize it into a matrix, which has square brackets and is set up as rows and columns. So in this first section, we're gonna look at matrix dimensions, and the dimensions of a matrix are read as the number of rows by the number of columns. And FYI, on my math lab, MML, they refer to the matrix dimensions as the order of a matrix. So the order and the dimensions are the same thing. So in these first few problems, what are the dimensions of the following matrices? So since the dimensions are rows by columns, first I'm gonna count the number of rows. So the rows go horizontally. This would be row one, row two, and row three. So there are three rows. And then we count the number of columns, which go up and down. One, two, three, four. So this would be a three by four matrix. On the next one, we have two rows and two columns. So this would be a two by two matrix or also called a square matrix where the number of rows equals the number of columns. The next one is a two by three matrix. And what we're gonna find is when we start doing matrix operations, the dimensions are super important for whether we are allowed to do an operation or not. On your own, go ahead and pause the video and try the last one. Four rows, two columns, so a four by two matrix. Our next feature of a matrix are the elements or the entries. Um, sometimes um, textbooks will call them the cells as well. So if the following matrix is called matrix A, or A equals that stuff, then A1 comma two is the element in row one, column two. So the one represents the row number, and the two represents the column number. So row one, column two, that would be negative nine. So then element two, one, that would be negative two, second row, first column. This would be third row, second column, or negative 15. And for the last two, row one, fourth column would be one. And then second row, third column would be negative six. So then, in the next video, we'll get into operations with matrices or adding and subtracting.